Okay, hi everybody. I'm going to try and explain why um, an MXD doesn't work as a submission on Canvas or really anywhere. Um, okay, so here the student has submitted an MXD document and I'm going to try and open it and see what happens. So uh, normally, just so you guys know, if you submit a PDF, I get a beautiful picture here that displays for me. So already you can see that I'm forced to download it, which is kind of a pain because with um, 75 students in the intro class, another 50 in the advanced class, and 30 or 40 online, uh, that's a lot of assignments to be downloading to my computer every week. Okay, so I've done that though. I'll, let's just run with it um, and I'll try and open it which again, you guys know how fast ArcGIS is to open. This wouldn't give me any gray hairs. Okay, and so we finally have the document is opened um, and there's nothing there. Um, you know, maybe you've got it set up in layout view, maybe uh, there'd be a base map, but really this is the gist of it. Whatever data that you're trying to present isn't going to be there. The question is why? So whenever I get red exclamation points, the first thing I do is ask the map project, where does it think this data is? So if I right click and go into the properties, I can look at the source tab and it should tell me it's looking for the data here, location C drive, a user named Shannon Wing Belmont on the desktop in a folder called new folder 2. Okay, well, let's look on my desktop and see if I have a folder called new folder 2. Um, the idea is there won't be because um, if a student were to submit a map like this, the location is going to be C, D, E, F, whatever the drive is, users, and whatever the student's name is. It's not going to be me, right? But because I'm looking on mine, I'm looking for this new folder too, and I can tell you I don't have a folder named this anymore. I had to rename it um, to demonstrate this to you. Um, but basically, it's going to be looking for these um, data on your computer, the student's computer, whoever sent this MXD in. Uh, and I can't, I can't fix that. I can't get the data. So this is never going to work. Um, so let me just show you a, an illustration of this really quick. So here's me. I'm sitting at my computer. I open ArcMap and I do a bunch of work and I've got some layers that are displaying in my map. Right? Here are the data. They're on my C drive, users, Shannon Wing Belmont, sitting on my desktop in a folder that I created called GIS Maps, and I've got three layers that are displaying in my map document. Um, they are saved on my computer, and this is the path to them. I do a file save as on my ARC map project, like this, file, save, or save as, and that creates something called an MXD. This is an ARC map project or an ARC map document and I call it map1 and then I want to go ahead and share that with you so I email you this MXD document or I submit it to Canvas as my assignment. You open ARC map and try and open ARC map or map underscore one and you get red exclamation points. Nothing displays in data view. Why? Because your computer um, doesn't contain um, a user folder for Shannon Wing Belmont, etc., etc. It's going to go to the C drive and may have a user's uh, compartment, but it's going to find you next and this path is automatically broken. And, and ArcMap, the map project, can't rectify that. So it just says, okay, path is broken, not going to display anything, you're stuck. And so that is, in a nutshell, why ArcGIS MXD documents aren't um, submittable to Canvas. I can't, um, first of all, download MXDs from every student, and second of all, nothing would show up anyway. So, um, you need to compress these in PDF format. Um, the reason I like PDFs is when they display in Canvas, um, I have a whole bunch of tools at my disposal. I can zoom in, zoom out, I can make them fit on a page. When you submit a JPEG or a TIFF, it comes in at whatever re resolution you save it as, and sometimes I can only see one little tiny part of the page and I have to pan you know, up and down and back and forth and there's, I have no options, I have no freedom. So that's why I'm kind of picky and ask for PDFs. They just seem to work really well in Canvas. Um, so that's it. Um, if you have any questions about this, please let me know. Thanks.